Hey guys, my name is Kent and you're watching Diagraphics. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the Pathfinder tool inside Adobe Illustrator and how to cut out shapes inside other shapes as you can see from my example right here. So the Pathfinder tool has a lot of functions but probably the most used is to combine shapes and to punch out holes in other shapes as you can see from my example right here. But I will show you all the functions right now. So the first thing we want to do is go to window and choose the pathfinder. So we get this panel over here so we can work with all those tools. So for this illustration I will just draw a black circle. And then draw a star. And paint that one white. Move it down here. And I will be using these two shapes to show you all the functions inside the Pathfinder tool. So the first option you get is Unite. So if you select both these shapes and click Unite, you will combine these two shapes together as one. So now the border will go all the way around if you add one. I can show you right now. You can see here, the border is going all the way around the, the shape right here. If we had two separate shapes, it will look like this instead. I'll make this one white and add a border to these two. You can see it will look like this and will not be one shape. So now if I get these two, whoops, click here and unite, it will be one shape instead. So the next function you get is minus front and this one is actually the one you want to be using if you want to punch out a hole inside another shape. So you want to select both of these shapes and as you can see the star is in front and because it's named minus front that means that the star is going to punch out a hole in whatever is below. So click this minus front and you can see the star hole right here. The intersect function is very simple, it will just delete everything that is not overlapping. So it will just leave this one behind. Click that one and you can see it's only the star inside the circle that is left. And as you can see this one exclude is doing the exact, exact opposite. So it just punches out a hole in whatever is overlapping. The divide tool will divide everything from each other. So if I click this one and right click and ungroup, you can see this is just separate pieces right now. The trim tool will do kind of like the same thing as minus front, but it will keep the shape that you use to punch out the hole. So if I click the trim tool, you can see I have both the star and the circle. And if I click ungroup, you can see I can move those. And the star will have punched out the hole in the circle. The merge tool will do kind of like the same thing. The crop tool will take the shape in front and then use it to crop all the shapes below it. This is useful if you want to color something a weird color for example. So let's say we have these two circles and one of them is red and I want the star to be a combination of these two colors. You can put it up here and then click crop right here and the star will crop these two shapes and be the color of these two shapes. The outline tool will outline everything and divide it. So if I click this one and right click and ungroup, you can see everything is divided and outlined like this. And the last one, the minus back is just the opposite of minus front. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these graphic design tutorials. Thank you for watching.